Hey everyone, before I get into today's video, I want to remind you to enter our Animal Crossing New Horizons giveaway. It is a digital copy, uh, North American, but it's usable worldwide. To enter the giveaway, you simply must subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. If you do that on every video uh, in the entire month of March, all the way through the 18th, uh, you will get an additional entry for every video that you do that on. Uh, only one of your comments per video will be counted, of course. Uh, but yes, that's all you got to do to enter, and I will announce the winner on March 19th. So the first video today, uh, it might be the only video today we'll see. Uh, it, it's This is a very serious topic. Um, I, I, I wanted to come back after my mini vacation over the last three days and uh, come up with something positive to talk about. But this story is too big. Um, sometimes things happen that make, uh, you know, my heart sink. And it, it's not about, um, you know, a, a major person at Nintendo or whatever dying. You guys see the title of this video. Um, this is about, <laughs> I don't know what else to call it, um, encampments of, of, of labor encampments uh, in China. Um, right, right now we're already worried about, you know, supplies being constrained due to the COVID-19 virus, you know, coronavirus out in China, the outbreak and all that, the Wuhan province, but it's, it's extending beyond that now and all this. Uh, there's a lot of concerns over PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X maybe not making launch. Uh, GDC was just canceled because of people worried about the COVID virus. A uh, bunch of companies backed out of that. Well, not really canceled. I guess CD, CDC, uh, the GDC is, is planning to still happen um, at the end of summer. Uh, some people are asking about E3 now, if E3 is going to cancel. And I think E3 is not going to do anything. Um, they, they publicly said they're, they're pushing forward with plans for E3. The ESA said that. Um, so I don't think you need to worry about E3 being canceled unless COVID-19 is still a big thing happening in the middle of May. Because uh, then you're like a month out. You know, at that point, you got to kind of push things if uh, it's still a major concern because companies are going to drop out like flies. Uh, but what really is the big issue, if we're being completely honest here, is uh, what's happening inside China and what's happening at the behest of the Chinese government. Um, we're going to get this report directly from Nintendo Life because I think they do a good job summarizing it. Um, I do have some additional information as well we'll cover. Uh, so let's just go head on over to Nintendo Life for this full report. Uh, and then we'll go on with the additional details. So Nintendo is named and shamed as benefiting from the use of Chinese forced labor camps, along with 83 other companies, including Sony and Microsoft. A new report by the U.S. State Department-funded Australian Strategic Policy Institute has discovered that at least 83 companies are directly or indirectly linked to Chinese forced labor camps when it comes to the creation of their products, and Nintendo is one of the firms named alongside Sony and Microsoft. The Chinese camps are where, and I'm going to butcher a lot of these pronunciations, I apologize, uh, the Uyghur or Turkic minority ethnic group and other ethnic minorities are forced to work under unethical conditions, as well as being subjected to intimidation and threats, constant surveillance, a ban on religious practices, political indoctrination, and excessive working hours. Their freedom of movement is also restricted, and there are reports that threats are routinely made against family members if workers do not comply willingly. According to the report, which is supported by similar investigations, including one by the BBC, these minorities have been transferred in huge numbers by the Chinese government from the far west region of the Xinjiang to factories across the country. It estimates that more than 80,000 Uyghurs were transferred from Xinjiang to the factories between 2017 and 2019 alone, with some being sent directly from detention camps. The BBC report suggests that China is building massive camps for adults, while children as young as three are placed in equally huge camps nearby, where they are told they can only speak Chinese. And this is kind of a chart showing some of the companies involved. So you have the Xinjiang province, you know, Kira County, Hotan is one of them. 105 of the Uyghurs transferred in 2018 from there to the Habai Yong Precision Manufacturing Company, uh, which then outputted to BYD, Mississippi, uh, Goer Tech, DDK, and Toshiba directly. Um, and then they went down to the, the Dogen Young Electronic Company, which then outsources to a bunch of places that indirectly lead to parts being made from Mitsubishi, Nintendo, Panasonic, Hair, Sony, HP, Cisco, General Electric, I forget what this G is, uh, Huawei, Microsoft, Samsung, Amazon, Oculus, Siemens, ZTE, and obviously 83 total companies are involved, so it's, it's, it's a pretty big list. Those are just some of the biggest ones. Uh, the report claims that it exposes a new phase in China's social re-engineering campaign targeting minority citizens, revealing new evidence that some factories across China are using forced Uyghur labor under a state-sponsored labor transfer scheme that is tainting the global supply chain. While Nintendo is obviously not directly connected with these camps, it is reportedly using parts sourced by these camps for the production of its video game hardware. 
Um, we can get some additional information here from uh, Reset Era. Um, so here's what it says. Uh, BBC says, thousands of Muslims from China's Uyghur minority group are working under coercive conditions at factories that supply some of the world's biggest brands. A new report says the Australian Strategic Policy Institute said this week, the next phase in China's re-education of Uyghurs. China has already detained about a million uh, Uyghurs at an internment camp, punishing and indoctrinating them. Um, and uh, it says between 2017 and 2019, the ASPI, I think, uh, tank estimates that more than 80,000 Uyghurs were transferred out of the far western Xinjiang Autonomous Region to work in factories across China. Um, it said some were sent directly to detention camps. ASPI said the Uyghurs were moved through labor transfer schemes operating under central government policy known as Xinjiang Aid. According to the report, the factory is going to be part of the supply chain for 83 well-known global brands, including Nike, Apple, and Dell. Uh, the report says that it's extremely difficult for Uyghurs to refuse to escape the work assignments while the threat of arbitrary detention hanging around them. It's added that there was evidence of local governments and private brokers being paid a price per head by the Xinjiang government to organize the assignments, which ASPI describes as a new phase of the Chinese government ongoing repression of Uyghurs. Um, more updates about this here. Um, video game uh, report highlights on, on the 17th of May 2018, 105 Yugo workers were transferred from Karia County, Xinjiang to Hubei, Yuhong Precision Manufacturing Company, LTD in Xinjiang, Hubei Province. Hubei uh, the Precision Manufacturing Company is a subsidiary of the Donghu Yingding Electronics Company uh, and produces precision parts for electronics such as backlights and battery covers. Uh, according to their website, the Duhong Yideng Electronic Company says the supply directly to BYD, Gortrick, all those companies I mentioned before. Uh, Foxconn is involved as well. Uh, as reported in late 2019, 560 Xinjiang workers were transferred to work in factories in central Henan province, which includes Foxconn Technologies uh, in the Zhengzhou Henan province. Foxconn Technologies, a Taiwanese company, is the biggest contract electronics manufacturer in the world. Um, Foxconn has supplied brands like Amazon, Apple, Dell, Google, HP, Hawaii, Microsoft, Nintendo, Sony, and Xiaomi. Foxconn's Zhengzhou Henan facility reportedly makes half of the world's iPhones and is the reason why the Zhengzhou city is dubbed the iPhone city. Foxconn's website says their brands and marketing channels include Nokia and Sharp. This is obviously, um, this is tough. I'm not... I'm kind of at a loss for words. This is slave labor. I, I I get that this is better than slaves in Africa or how slaves were treated in the U.S. back in the day and across Europe. I get that this is better, slightly better treatment um, than we think about with traditional slavery, but let's call it what it is. This is modern-day slavery in 2020. Uh, in 2019, in 2018, in 2017, and however long this has been going on for, at least back to 2017. Um, you know, with, with the tariffs and everything, you know, that the U.S. has put on products, you know, how they're going to keep prices down? Slave labor. Um, how are they going to keep uh, people working at these factories in poor conditions and, and cheaply? Well, slave labor. Um, how are they going to keep the current governments in power? Well, in doctrine and slavery. Um, it's pretty simple. When kids grow up only knowing one kind of life, what are they going to keep thinking that life is like? Um, when when my fiance uh, was in Russia, she didn't go under internment camps or, or, or any labor camps or anything. But um, the way the world worked over there when she was a kid, you didn't think there was a world outside Russia. You thought Russia was it. They didn't teach you about the rest back then. I don't know if it's different now. Um, but that's kind of what's happening here in China is where now they're taking the children as, as young as age three and basically making them learn only one way of living and there is no other way of living beyond what they're shown um and that's going to grow up to uh really form their minds and and make them fight vehemently for the current government establishment uh not realizing that it's not supposed to be that way um this is a, a massive issue i mean at least they're not saying they're putting the children to work but, they, but, but what's it matter if they're being raised to end up being people that, that are forced to work anyways? Um, this is this is bad. <laughs> like, I mean, I guess the blood diamonds are worse, you know, in, in Africa with the slaves. But I, this, this is, in, 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 a, in a more modern industrial country, this is bad. Um, and so many of our products are made in China. 
it, it, it's insane. You know, you go to the store. I'm like, I'm like looking at my desk. You know, the, this Audio Technica mic I believe is assembled and made in China. Um, the <laughs> the Corsair keyboard I have, pretty sure that's assembled and made in China. Uh, this iPhone, this is definitely assembled and made in China. Um, my Switch, definitely assembled and, and made in China. Or well, maybe the, I have the newer model, so it might have been assembled in Taiwan or or wherever Nintendo moved their factories to uh, for North American production. But they still get the parts in it from China. So almost everything we have in life, technology wise, involves China. And now we're finding out that if you bought any new tech in the last five to you know ten years or whatever, slave labor. I'm just really sickened by this news, sick to my stomach. Um, I, this is, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say, I almost got tears coming to my eyes. I, like, children are, are involved. This is just messed up. He thought the camps that we had, uh, going on with Trump were, were bad with immigrants. Like, this is, this is my, this is a huge chunk of, like, a whole province, basically, of their country. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say this, and I'll, I'll leave it at this, because I, I care so much about human decency and human rights. Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft. I don't care if this delays PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. This is about human rights and, and people and slavery. I, I want you guys to try to build new relationships with companies outside of China. Build new factories to make your NAND flash, to make your screens, to make whatever whatever you, you are getting cheaply done in China. Since we can't trust them anymore. We can't, we can't trust the government. You can't trust the companies. Um, so work with companies outside of China that aren't based in China. Uh, that maybe don't even have Chinese factories at all, and get those products made elsewhere. It's going to lead to things being more expensive. We heard the PlayStation Five price was around four hundred and fifty dollars just to make. Who cares if it rises to five or six hundred at this point? Um, we're, we're talking about human lives here. Uh, that's more important than the cost of a consumer good that we don't need. These are remember, these are entertainment products. You know, my, even the phone. It, I don't need a, a fancy phone like this. I can get something that maybe costs just as much to be made in the U.S. But whatever. Um, it isn't as nice, but who cares? Like we need to, uh, seriously implore Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, and all of our favorite electronic companies to get out of China. It's just time for, for between COVID-19, um, already slowing down production and all this to forced slave labor. It's time we, we, we need to be done with it. And the thing is, things are still going to be made in China, um, because it's cheap, but we as people need to start considering what we're what we're supporting here. And there's always been issues. Foxconn has had issues in the past. There's always been issues. But I don't think we realized how bad the issues are until this report came out. Um, it's time. We need to encourage these companies to go build elsewhere, go build factories elsewhere. I don't care if it's in Mexico. I don't care if it's in Taiwan. Wherever they, wherever they need to build it in you know, another country that maybe isn't doing so hot uh, but can you know get, provide cheap labor, but that cheap labor is um, willing labor. Let's put it that way. Willing labor because it's better than not working at all and living on the street. We need to encourage these companies to go that route. Nintendo, please reconsider. Um, I'm, I, I enjoy your products. I enjoy your games. Uh, but we need to get your Switches and, and other future hardware built somewhere else. Um, it's probably easier for you to relocate the, the cart manufacturing and you know Switch case manufacturing. But to get these made, the parts that are in it, you need, you need to find companies um, that aren't in China. And it needs to happen now. Like We can't wait. Um, I get there will be a transition period. You know, you have contracts and stuff. I get that. But uh, transition as fast as you can, please. Because at this rate, I don't know that I can buy a future Nintendo product when it comes out. Unless I know for sure they're not getting their parts from slave labor. And I'm not blaming Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, because they could be blissfully... The, these aren't Chinese companies. They, they could be blissfully unaware this was even happening. But now that we know it's happening, it's time. It's time to get out. So, uh, please... I implore you, please do the right thing morally here. Um, you know, Nintendo claims to be a company that cares about family and, and people. Okay, so show it. Show it and get the hell out of China. Anyways, I understand the Rebel Jans from Nintendo. Let me know what you think about this story. There, I, don't, there, I don't know how, you, how else to react to this. So um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If I, if I had a, a place to donate money to for charity, I'd link to you guys. But what, what are we going to, there's no, this, I don't want any money funneling into China. I don't trust any of the charities. I don't trust any of the government agencies. I don't trust anything that that's China related right now. Um, and that sucks because I don't think the Chinese people are bad people, but there's bad people in power. And I don't know what to do about that. We're talking about, you know, a third of the world's population living in one country and that country's government is endorsing and 
creating this library. So, all right, folks, I'm Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime. Sorry about the somber video. Maybe we'll have some happier news later today. Uh, but, you know, I'll catch you guys in the next video.